<clears throat> Alrighty, what is up? What is up? So here we are today. Um, got a nice little paper set up and we're going to show you guys the honeycomb kit. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to show you what comes in here. Show you a quick example of how this works. And um, yeah, simple, simple plane. Again, it's available at mikesbrush.com. Um, and yeah, we ship them right out to your door. So anyway, let's get on started. I'm just pulling my chair here. So I hope everybody's having a good, good week. It's actually kind of chilly in here today. So I got my, I got my hoodie on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, fish in the back woods? What's up, James McLean? <clears throat> all right, so let's open this one up. Again, all our stencils come in a nice wrapper and it's kind of meant to be able to be used to put your stencils back in once you're done using them. Um, the honeycomb kit, this kit here, will come with three different size honeycombs. So you have the pretty big one, right? See my hand through there. It's pretty big, but it's still nice and fine. Like the lines are not thin down, they're not thick. I've seen some where the honeycomb, as it gets bigger, the lines get bigger. The medium sized one, again, and the, the honeycombs get smaller, but the, this, the nice fine webbing is really nice and fine. And then you got a nice small one, this like a nice tiny one. This one would probably be good for like RC cars, models, uh, miniatures, that kind of stuff if you need a honeycomb effect. They are nice and flexible. All our stencils are mylar. They're six mil mylar one side. They come with a paper front on the other side. Um, <clears throat> if you're not familiar, the paper is kind of like absorbent. So if you're sp spraying with reduced paints, it just uh, helps uh, to mitigate a little bit of that so you don't uh, get a bunch of wet spots on your surface that you're working on. Simple. What's up, Oz Newton? Cool. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys quick quick examples using this stencil. Oh my gosh, can't put words together today. All right. So we have our pre-masked. So we'll just, we have three, so we'll do three big sections here. And this tape is like sucking, so let's, let's put a new piece of tape on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, Bartholomew? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was able to check it out. Now I'm just I'm just waiting for the physical copies that I ordered and I'll super cool super fun. Um, again, if you guys aren't uh, aware, if you guys didn't see my post, uh, they did a Mr. Netter Brit there in the chat, Mr. Bartholomew McCaffrey uh, did an interview with me uh, for Custom Pinstripe and Graphics Magazine uh, based out of the UK or something like that, right? Based out of the UK. I'm not sure about the countries out there. I, th I think, it, or was it the Netherlands? I'm not sure. Somewhere over there in Europe, uh, great people. They have a great magazine. Um, and yeah, if you want to check it out, I believe it's issue 94, if I'm correct. Um, it's, the, it's the latest one they just put out as of uh, filming this, as of doing this live stream today. So. Make sure you go and you check that out. Uh, but here we have, uh, we'll use the big one first. Now we'll just do basic uh, honeycomb for this one. And then I'll show you guys some cool other things that I've done with it besides a honeycomb, because this is the most basic thing, right? But it is something that I've seen been asked for a lot. People come in and be like, oh yeah, I want it to look like honey. And then like dripping, right? So you'll do like, lettering and you'll do the honeycomb on the inside of the lettering and then you'll add a drip effect going around the bottom of it and it looks really cool and people love it and it's a really simple way <clears throat> a 
You can get it at Coast Airbrush. Yeah, nice. They they also have a digital version, so you don't have to. Um, yeah, you don't have to get anything shipped to you. So if, if you live in a country where the, maybe the shipping's not all that great, you can also get the digital version, which is really cool. So again, I'm just going to start off with some brown. And we'll fade it off going this way. I mean, and it's... Real nice, real easy. Now, the so one thing I will recommend is if, like, if you want to get a, like a real honeycomb effect, after you do that, bring it back in, and then maybe get some of these these top spots on some of it. Just bring in a nice little shadow. Some of them like that, and you'll start getting those like little variations. Like if you look in a honeycomb, you'll see all these little things you know going on in there. It's not all just one color uniform, and it just makes it look really cool. Another tip would just be to bring in like stripes. You know, I've seen this work really good too. If I'm in a, if I'm in a hurry, if I'm pretty busy that day and doing a lot of shirts or something, I'll do the stripes. Still looks really good. We'll fade this in right here. What's up, Monique? What's up, Roy? I think I said what's up to Roy already. I'm not sure. And then I'm just going to lay a little bit of yellow over it. And we have some of the wicked uh, yellow. This is like the OG yellow, though. What is this one called, actually? So this is 003 wicked yellow. Not the, not the wicked opaque. The more transparent-like one. And then we just lay some nice yellow. I mean, nothing too, nothing too crazy about this. Pretty basic, but um, I know it's coming handy for me for a lot of projects. It's just having a nice honeycomb project, honeycomb stencil. And even now, when I do like uh, events and stuff. I always make sure to have one of these um, available to me, depending on what I'm painting. Like if I'm painting hats, I'll make sure to have this one um, right there with me. Because what ends up happening is you end up doing your main design, and then you want to add in a quick little background on it. And um, this is like by far, you you do one of these, and then you're gonna have people just coming back and asking, "Hey, can you do mine like how you did his? Can you can you do that background effect?" So I always have a few of these laying around it, and the honeycomb is one of the most popular ones because people just like it, and not just in brown and yellow. So <clears throat> I'll show you here real quick. So first off, I'm just gonna lay some of that yellow down. And we'll just lay some like this, and we'll do a few spots. Right, say like I'm working on, like I already, I'm working on a hat. This is the background for the hat. There's a name or something right here. I'll do something like this, just come in here, fade it around the name, and then I'll obviously have my t-shirt set up going, so I'll have my colors already set, but I'll get something like blue or green. We'll use the daylight blue on this one. And it's super like fast, right? Because you just grab your blue, your airbrush with the blue in it, Right, you set up your stencil, and then you just set up some shots, pretty much. And you put something like this going out. Do a quick fade. I wish it didn't move. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way of the camera, so it's like hard. But there you go. Do something like that. 
and then you get those quick little streaks of honeycomb going out and it kind of looks more like like it's glitching out or something like that right and then you'll go over here and maybe just do like you know just the same like you did with the yellow and these don't have to quite match up because that's kind of the point is to make it look like something's going on there it's not quite right right and then you just fade it in around and you'll have a nice little fade uh blue blue works really good green um yellow works good yellow blue works good purple pink obviously is amazing and um, yeah and then this last one if you're doing like miniatures or something like and you want to get a cool little pattern on a guy so one one thing i can think of right away let me let me load up some colors let me get off this blue So right, say maybe you got some miniatures you're working on and you're laying in red. You have like a black base with some red highlights and then you want to add a pattern over their armor or something like that. All right. Oh, you get some reducer out of here. There you go. Get this in here. Shrinky shake. So we'll lay down some red here. And I'll try to give you a good range of it. This is obviously a lot bigger than than it would be on a miniature, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to show you what I mean. Right, so we we'll leave that red there. Let's get some black. Now you probably won't have black. You'll probably have like some other dark tones, but I'm just gonna use black real quick just so I don't have to go through purple, browns, and and all that stuff. Um, but just to show you the effects is just going from a dark red to a light red You're building some kind of fire army or maybe like that's just the colors of your guard or whatever it is on your miniatures Right, and you'll have like that red highlight, but maybe we'll do some spots like this just to simulate like the highlighted areas Again, this is probably a lot bigger than it would be on your miniature, but okay. right. So then you would have, <clears throat> say, like on their their pauldrons on their shoulders, right? You have that surface, so you would have that. That's kind of what this is, and maybe <clears throat> maybe throw a little bit more red in there, just get it more red. Do one kind of light, one kind of medium. That one. Do more red around the edges only. And then we have silver right here, so I'll use the silver. <laughs> What's up, things? Oh, you're good. This this one's a pretty quick one today. These are all the stencil videos. So, probably got a few more of these, and then we're going to go back right back into spraying some, some stuff. I think I'm going to do some panels. I think a lot of people have been wanting to get their hands on a Mike's Brush original, so we're going to do some with that. So I'm going to bring you in close just to show you a little bit right there. So I'm just going to hit the silver over this, just like a main highlight, and it's just a pearlized silver. Going over that. That's not too crazy. So, bring you 
in for the money shot, so there you go. That light, just that light makes it super bright. Can I turn that light off? Can I come over here and turn the light off? Let me see. You can see how just adding that little quick pattern. If you're doing like RC cars, you know, anything like that, obviously it's a no brainer. Um, but just, I think a, a miniature army with just like a pattern of like a hexagon on their, on their garments would look really cool. Uh, but yeah, you get, you know, in that stencil kit, you get them in all three different sizes. So no matter what you're into, what you're painting, you'll have one um, available to you. Uh, ready to go Pretty simple. I, I mean, I, I I can't this is not one that's that's super complicated, but it is um, It takes a, a while to cut not gonna lie because these is like so much <laughs> So much squares <laughs> or hexagons um, So yeah, and I know I know it's coming super handy for me. So probably you guys out there are um, You know would probably benefit from also having it available to you guys so if you're interested, again, it's available at MikeSbrush.com. Um, and yeah, we appreciate your continued support. We've got a few more designs uh, that we're going to be putting up. And then, uh, like I said, we got some probably going to be doing some Mike's Brush original panels. And then we're going to be trying to figure out a way to actually get those out to you guys, uh, the viewers. I don't know if we're going to try to auction those off during the stream or uh, have some kind of way of, of getting to those. Uh, we might auction the actual one on stream and then maybe do some posters or something like that. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but I have some ideas in mind. Um, again, I haven't done panels since I did the Airbrush Rendezvous panels uh, last year. So it is about that time that I did some more panels. And I'm going to call these the viewer panels, the Skull Squad panels. Um, so if you want to get your hands on one of those, make sure you keep an eye on the channel. Uh, we're going to do a few more of these uh, stencils, um, again, just to get these out and have them ready for you guys. Um, a lot of people have been asking for certain designs. This honeycomb one was one that I got a quite a few emails, um, all asking if I could cut them out a honeycomb stencil because they couldn't find one or or whatever the case was. Um, uh, the, the, there, I had one guy who, who's his machine <laughs> wouldn't uh, cut it like it would get somewhere like you know and then it would stop and so he was asking if I cut him one and I, I, of course I, I do that but this way it's more available just to everybody so hopefully that helps you guys out uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here I got a whole backyard of leaves uh, to bag up and uh, to to put in bags in those Halloween bags to sit outside my house Hopefully these stencils help you guys out. Um, yeah. As always, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all you guys' orders. And we're going to keep it pushing. Um, it, it's, definitely, it's definitely becoming winter season. I have my hoodie on, so it's like, ugh. <laughs> going to need that honeycomb for a Wu-Tang piece. Kill a piece. Kill a, kill a, kill a piece, y'all. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Whoa.